other chameleons, it's Camille, and today I'm going to be showing you guys three different hairstyles that I've been loving lately and how to do them with or without bangs. So hopefully this will give you some hair inspo for the fall slash winter. Okay, so first I'm gonna wash my hair and show you what products I put in before styling. I'm really lucky to be partnering with Ozzy for the next few months since they just came out with a curl line, which is obviously perfect for me and a lot of you guys watching. So I'm starting with the Ozzy Miracle Curls Shampoo, which is specially designed for curly hair, infused with coconut and jojoba oil, so it moisturizes while cleaning your hair, which is something I always look for in curly products. Also, it smells like citrus, so that's always a plus. <laughs> Next, I'm using the conditioner that also has coconut and jojoba oil to moisturize and smells just as good. I let that sink in for a while and then I use my Denman brush to comb out my hair. And then I move on to deep conditioner. So I'm using the Miracle Curls deep conditioner and I'm mixing that in with the detangling milk so I get the moisture and the smoothing properties together and it gives my hair a great texture for styling while staying hydrated. I'm going to finger comb that out and flip my head and continue to comb because you get more volume when you flip your hair. And then scrunch, of course, to help get those curls started curling. Then I'm separating out my bangs and scrunching those. And then you just wait for your hair to dry. So this first hairstyle is really simple if you follow the beginning of the tutorial because you pretty much do nothing. I let my hair completely air dry, which took hours because my hair has high porosity and because it's curly and blah 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 but it's very worth it because if you let it air dry the curls come out better you don't damage your hair and it's a lot silkier so the one product that i haven't already had a bunch of experience with in the past was the leave-in detangling milk but mixed with the leave-in conditioner it makes your hair so incredibly silky it's actually insane so silky to the point where this is my three-day hair and you can still see how like silky and reflective and soft it is and the reason that I'm doing this part three days later is because this is the volume style so I like to have as voluminous hair as possible which is why I got this exact cut because it helps with that but if you have freshly washed hair it's usually not as big as it can get so after that routine I just leave my hair for a couple days so it naturally gets a bit bigger and then what I also like to do is when my hair is drying you know hold your head upside down and kind of like pull the hair so it dries like away from your head and then the other thing I like to do is once it's dry just for extra volume you can kind of lift your hair up and normally I would use a pick for this, but I don't have a pick right now. So I'm just using my fingers as a DIY pick. So you kind of just like pull your hair straight away from your head, just a little bit at the roots. So you can add volume without messing up the curls. And then same thing up here. I wouldn't go as far as teasing my hair because that would be damaging and I'm not a scene kid anymore. Oh wow. I should have done this back in my scene days. What? <laughs> So this is kind of laid flat on my head right now, so I'm just gonna kind of floof it up with my fingers. Just basic fluffing skills. So there you go. This has been one of my go-to styles ever since cutting my hair and getting the bangs. And I just really like it. It's pretty simple. And it kind of makes me look like a puffle from Club Penguin. And I'm all about that nostalgia. So the second look I'm showing you guys is something that I do as a natural progression from really nice hair to when my hair starts getting a little bit frizzy later on. So it's a great way to hide hair that isn't perfectly coiled or perfectly hydrated. So this one is definitely a time saver, but it also looks really good. And it's good at showing your face a bit more because I realized that when my hair is out, I kind of like lose my face. And then when I put it up, people are like, oh my gosh, you have a face. So for this look, you're going to need a hair scrunchie and some water. This is just plain water. And then I'm gonna use a little clip to get my bangs out of the way. And if you guys don't have bangs, you can obviously skip this step. And all of these looks work with or without bangs. So I'm just finding which parts I want to leave down and I'm clipping that together. So then the rest of all of this hair is gonna go up into a little top knot. So first I'm going to just spray around the edges just to get my hair a little bit damp and easier to work with. But you don't wanna use too much water because you still wanna keep the texture so you can get some volume in the bun. And I'm gonna use a little bit of milk, lactose free, so I can get it to lay down nice and smoothly on my hair. So I'm gonna take this off because the bangs are already sectioned out. And pretty much, I'm just using my fingers for this. I'm gonna like 
smooth it down and then comb a little bit to make sure any lumps are out. Always check for lumps, people. So you can see once I slick this down that there is no frizz coming off of that side. And that's what we're looking for. We want to just get the sides all slicked down. And I like to bring it towards the top of my head so it sits like right on top like that. I should just wear it like this sometime. Kind of like that. Okay, so pretty much you pull the scrunchie on and then twist it. And then I pull the scrunchie all the way around from the back. So then when you pull it up to the front, it smooths that part over. And you do this based on your hair length, but I like to pull it back and then around front. So then the front part is like the last part to see and then the very ends um, are facing in the back. And then you just tuck those guys in and you have this perfect top knot. So if you don't have bangs, you could include that. My bangs are actually long enough that it could also be included if I want it to be. And that's why I picked this length so I can have some options. And then if you want, you can kind of like fluff up your bun a bit. And if you have trouble getting it to stay, then you can use bobby pins. But I like to just do it without bobby pins because it stays and I don't need extra stuff in my head. And that is it for this top knot with bangs out or bangs in or non-existent bangs if you don't have them. <laughs> okay, so for this last look, I'm gonna do it with bangs in just because I think most of you guys don't have bangs and all of these looks are versatile. You can do with or without. So might as well do one without. So I'm again gonna just spray down my hair, but I'm gonna spray it down a lot more than I did before because I want all of it to be damp this time. It's a lot easier to braid wet hair, um, in my opinion, when it's textured. Um, if you're braiding straight hair, I feel like it's easier or like just as easy to braid it while it's dry. What rock star do I look like with my hair wet? Leave a comment down below. So for this one, I'm using some more milk because I want my fingers to be able to glide through my hair when I'm braiding it. And I want it to be really smooth. And especially since it's wet, it's going to be a lot easier to incorporate. So that's about how much I'm using. And I'm just going to spread that out as evenly as possible. Okay, so now I have a rat tail comb. You can use anything sharp except for a knife. I wouldn't recommend that. I mean, technically you could, but I'm not liable, I'm telling you right now. So I'm just tying one of the sides up to get it out of the way so it doesn't bother me. I'm going to lightly finger comb because I want my hair to be as detangled as possible before I start braiding and need it to be detangled. <laughs> so then what I'm gonna do is just pinch off like a little tiny section of the front in like a triangle shape, just that much. Then you divide this part into three. And I'm doing a Dutch braid, so pretty much it's the opposite of a French braid. And instead of braiding like inwards, you braid outwards. So then instead of your hair being flat, it will be like inverted. But I'm just gonna show you. So these three, these are the three strands. And instead of taking an outside one going inside, I'm gonna take an inside one and go on the outside. So then same thing here. And then once you've done one of those, up a little bit of hair on the side that you just went to and just add that to the section you're holding over there and then same thing here I'm going inside to outside and I'm going to pick up a little section of hair on this side and add it to that section and then now that this guy is in the center, it's gonna go on the outside as well. I'm just going to be doing this all the way across and down. So like trying to stay in the center of everything. So then it's even on both sides. I'm gonna use one of these clear elastics. Where'd it go? Well, I have another one here. Always keep a backup elastic. Then you're just gonna twist it on and secure the bag. You're good. I also like doing this when my hair is wet because then the curls can come out nice at the end. So just like to finger curl this end a little bit. Let's 
do like three little curls on there and then scrunch and then when it dries it'll be nice and curly instead of frizzy. So I did my roots a little bit too late so you can see there's like a little bit of orange in there and I'm very aware of that. But if you look at the braid and the texture of that you can see that it's like a nice inverted Dutch braid. So then you just do the same thing to the other side. Alright so I think this one might have come out better than the first one. Um, maybe because I'm right handed and it's easier for me to reach over. I don't know. I'm just guessing. I'm not a scientist. Either way, I'm going to curl those ends a little bit so then when they dry they'll be nice and curly. Alright, so this is the finished last hair look. This one is good if you want your hair out of your face, if you have bangs and you want that out of your face, if you're really active, or if you like the way that it looks. So those are the three looks, so I hope you guys found this video either helpful or enjoyable. All of my links to my social media are in the description box down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see future videos. I wish you all a happy, healthy life, and I'll see you in the next one. Kisses!